Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. We are looking at Elliot's Super Pro 80. Before we chat about it, let's have a listen. Oh man, even with the compression release. this video for it feels like a month and it probably is so you remember I think I said it's been long enough ago that I'm starting to question some of this but I think we've done a video on this where we took a look at the piston that was just destroyed the cylinder ended up being honeable cleaning up so it's got a new a uh, little red barn 82cc McCulloch piston in it. So that took care of the bottom end. Or excuse me, top end. Bottom end was fine. But once I got to that point, it was like that, you know, the death by a thousand cuts. Just little stuff that uh, would come up as I was working on it, you know, and I was able to test run it once. When I started finding other stuff wrong, the little piddly ticky foo stuff that's actually more annoying than replacing a piston because it comes up one thing at a time. So we'll just start around the saw. The muffler I found on eBay. Yeah, I found that on eBay when we first started talking about this. It's complete other than, you will notice, it has no read. I haven't seen one come up for sale. It's one of those things the guy's just going to have to pay attention and watch for it. The deflector's there, and this hardware, I've had it loose, so I know that it will come loose to slip a new read in there. So, that's not there. But everything else is good and solid. I don't want to burn my fingers off, but I want to demonstrate that muffler's not weak. It's tied into the cylinder, actually with these two screws, and then two on the bottom, and everything's good and solid. It's not rotted out. Obviously, the decompression valve works. We could hear that. Uh, it trips out really easily. I don't know if it's original or if it's a little, you know, the springs have gotten weak with age, whatever. In reality, when you're starting it, you're not going to usually be doing a short stroke on a bench like I was doing. That's why it kind of popped and kicked there. Gone through the carb, rebuilt it. Fuel line. This is the nice sealed 82cc style fuel tank. And I think my two nieces and uh, nephew just arrived, so this might get loud. So I'll try to finish this up. The starter was an abysmal mess. The main screws were stripped out. I haven't been able to find the screw that doesn't have the pointed end because this screws into the manual oil pump that's right here. So I had to re-thread these two holes then that uh, whether or not these screws are truly an 832 I'm not a hundred percent positive but an 832 insert worked. They're holding quite well. These were all stripped out and oversized. Those are 100% correct at an 832, the manual. Well, I will show that. So put inserts in there. The chip screen was, of course, destroyed and gone, so I used one of the aftermarket 3D printed ones. Uh, that doesn't flow nearly as much air as an OEM one. You can see how tight those holes are. So I don't have a lot of experience running these, but if it was a hot day or I had a long bar and I was hogging it, I'd probably be a little careful because I don't. I know that doesn't flow nearly as much air as a factory one. But those factory ones are about as rare as hen's teeth. So what are you going to do? So got that on there. Uh, had everything apart, of course, when I was doing the the piston. 
So the fuel tank has, or ah, oil tank has a new gasket, and the gasket has been sealed with gasket sealant, so it hasn't leaked a drop. Not to say that it won't at some point, but it isn't leaking right now. Manual oiler works. Yeah, I think we've just about covered everything. So this saw, I mean, it feels like it's been here for two months. And if it hasn't been two months yet, it's awful damn close. So that's the hazard of, you know, working on something that I don't stock a ton of parts for. And you'll notice even the screw. Oh, that was the other thing. Screw busted off in the stud that holds the, the coil down. So, you know what? A home light screw fit perfectly right there. So, anyway. I'm going to get this thing drained and aired out so that, Elliot, I can get it heading back your way. Uh, finally, McCulloch Super Pro 80 is complete.